Singapore plans to phase in electric vehicles. Uh, it's getting a boost thanks to a new simulation model by ASTAR. It can project future electric vehicle charging patterns and forecast the energy demand. Now, this comes as Singapore gears up towards its 2040 vision of going car light. Now, through simulation, researchers can analyse energy demand patterns across the island. For example, the red bars on this map indicate higher energy needs, while the lighter coloured ones mean lower needs. Now, this can then be used to plot the most optimal placements of EV chargers and more efficient upgrading of the power grid to ensure drivers' charging needs are met. For more, we're joined by Lim King Hui, Executive Director at ASTARS Institute of High Performance Computing. Dr. Lim, now, just simplify it for us. How does the model uh, work to predict which parts of the island will have those higher energy demands? Well, Jill and Steve, uh, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, now, our research studies the traffic patterns and volume uh, to develop this computational modeling platform. And this has allowed us to capture different uh, driving areas of different vehicle types uh, right down to the neighborhood level. And so with this, uh, ASTAR and our partner to create, we are able to simulate as well as optimize the energy infra requirements for different neighborhoods. So I'll give you some examples. Uh, in a HDB neighborhood, uh, we will require more public charging facilities at multi-story car parks. And as you can imagine, with uh, drivers driving home at night, so the energy demand will mostly be during the night. And then in the city center, uh, we will need more charging infrastructures in the office buildings, uh, in the malls, and the energy demand will be mostly during the day. And then also in um, for public transport, uh, especially at bus uh, terminals in the change, we will then need to cater for more powerful uh, charging infrastructure to handle the larger electrical load that's required by the buses. And then finally, in areas with more uh, private landed properties, we will then need to cater uh, mostly for charging at home. And based on what's been plotted so far, give us some insight into some of the interesting findings that you have. Well, as you mentioned, uh, Singapore envisaged to go for uh, all electrical vehicles uh, uh, by 2040. And so we will need to upgrade our energy grid infrastructure to meet this demand. And uh, so we found that we should do this in phases uh, because, first of all, uh, new, new technologies will come in that will be more energy efficient and also uh, more smarter. Uh, so, for example, we found that uh, drivers uh, return home in the evening and then they will start charging their cars. And what this will happen is that you will put extra load on the energy grid. So our study have found that uh, by installing smart systems uh, that can schedule the charging uh, across the cars in a car park, uh, we can actually smoothen out the energy load that is needed. And this can subsequently reduce the grid infrastructure upgrade cost and without compromising the overall energy uh, required to charge uh, all the electric vehicles. And we're also exploring the use of uh, incentive-based um, pricing mechanism to shift the charging demand by nudging drivers to charge during the non-peak uh, hours and also to encourage uh, responsible charging by discouraging drivers from hogging charging stations for, for too long. So these are some of our uh, more interesting findings. Uh, and, uh, you know, in, in the transition uh, of electrification, what are, what are some of the obstacles that you see uh, still ahead uh, in this process for Singapore? Well, there will be uh, key changes required, uh, which, will, which will include, uh, first of all, upgrading our grid infrastructure uh, in tandem with the growth of electric vehicles, uh, because the population of EVs in Singapore is still low. And so we will need to work with government agencies. We will need to work with private sector to put more charging stations to make it accessible for drivers. And this will be done in phases. And uh, as mentioned earlier, we have identified the use of smart charging technologies uh, and also incentive-based mechanism to shift the charging demand uh, in order to smooth out uh, peak load demand on the, on the grid. And the other thing that we will also be doing is to analyze the impact of uh, integrating alternative uh, energy sources, such as solar power, uh, as well as uh, energy storage systems, 
uh, into the smart grid in order to make our grid uh, infrastructure a lot more resilient. Mm, uh, that's uh, Dr. Lim King Hui. He is the Executive Director at ASTAR's Institute of High Performance uh, Computing speaking to us. Uh, thank you.